It's very fun, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Well, good morning. It is Friday! Uh, yay! Yeah. Love those short weeks. Eight degrees, 11 later. It's going to be a sunny day today. Nice one going into the weekend, and it should be about 13 degrees and sunny most of the weekend with a little bit of rain on Sunday. So not the worst for mid-October. I hope everybody's doing good. I, I hope you are, are excited about winning money at 7 o'clock. And then at 8 o'clock, we have an announcement. A big announcement. Also really, really, really good for your checking account. Yeah. We'll talk about it then. In the meantime, let's check in with everybody. TJ, what's on your mind? New survey says 13% of people say they live in a haunted house, or at least have at one point. Hmm. So I'm going to open this up to the room. Adam Lowne, Jax, Jesse, have you ever lived in a haunted house? I have not. Because I will hunt back. Whoa. Ghosts are afraid okay. of me. Jax? I have not, but also I'm naive. Okay. <laughs> so I, I could have. Producer but Jesse? Not a lot I time. have not. No, no. Well, this was just about as exciting as I thought it would be. <laughs> Jax, what about you? I just want to give a shout out to Cardi B today because I know she's listening. Uh, she's going to be getting a lot of flack. She's back together. She's admitted that she's with Offset. And um, yeah, they, you know, filed for divorce last week. So people are kind of giving her heat saying that, you know, she's up and down all over the place. She's dramatic, but people are dramatic and people are human. So Cardi B. Good for her. You do you, girl. Jesse, I have to introduce you to Amethyst Realm. She is not having a good day because her fiance uh, walked out on her and they are no longer oh. getting married. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that her fiance is also a ghost. Oh, <laughs> Here is Stop. her talking no about ghosts. her ghost fiance. Oh, hang on, hang on. Adam, 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 he just sent you the audio. It didn't come in, it didn't come in. Here we go. It, it was going in. really well until we went on holiday. That was about last May, and then he just completely changed. In what way? Became compl- so I think maybe he fell in with a bad crowd when we were on holiday. Oh. He kind of, he just started becoming really inconsiderate. He'd disappear for long periods of time. Yeah. He'd, when he did come back, he'd bring other spirits back to the house and they'd just stay oh, around yeah. for days. Yeah. He's partied too much. You know what? If one day of bad behavior is enough for you to call off the wedding, then you guys shouldn't have been married in the first place. That's right. Love also, is love, guys. What the hell? Love is love. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> save her. Yeah. She has to cry for help. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good morning. Happy oh. Friday. <laughs> Even to the ghosts. Uh. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Virgin Mornings with What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. Doug Ford is asking food delivery apps to lower their fees. He did this at his press conference yesterday, and it's in reference to a lot of restaurants who once again can't do dine-in, and they need to try and make some money uh, other places. So no app has yet lowered their fees, which, by the way, can reach up to 30% on every order. Jeez. And uh, Doug doesn't sound impressed, and he warned them that their time is running out to do this voluntarily, and he asked the apps to not be greedy and be a part of the team please and thank you it's pretty cool he's doing that he's gonna have to he's gonna divorce them yeah 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 yeah. after a week of debate about overcrowding on the ttc there's now a website where you can track how busy a ttc ride is so rocket man is this third party app that many torontonians use to track the schedules of transit in the city and they just launched transitcrowds.com and the app uses historical data for transit lines around the city to let riders know the times of the day where there will likely be overcrowding on their trip allowing them to avoid it or find an alternative safer way it's a good idea i mean when you hear that you think there's gonna be someone standing out yeah, there with a little yeah, yeah. counter and that's just not what it can't happen so that's the sounds like the next best solution also a heads up the allen is shutting down this weekend for maintenance that's gonna be happening tonight at 11 o'clock it's gonna be reopening uh 5 a.m on october 19th that's monday and it's gonna be closed from shepherd avenue west to eglinton avenue west oh damn okay uh also beside the allen you gotta keep a keep in mind that uh, active to road closures are still in True. effect for october so there's gonna be just a not fun time to get around in the city. Give yourself some extra time. you got to be somewhere. That's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thank you, TJ. Hour and 10 minutes from right now, we're going to give you 500 bucks instantly with the Virgin Radio Moneymaker. You're the you're the moneymaker. We're just the ones doling out the money. All you have to do is text money and your name to 99999. Money first, your name second in the same text message, and you're entered. We'll call your name out at 7 o'clock. Right now, Jason Derulo, this is Virgin Radio. If I woke up if you're not single, hallelujah. If you are, you're never going to want to stay over at someone's house again oh after I tell you what I'm about to tell you. Yep. Oh, fun. Now, we know that there are gross people out there. Yep. Maybe you're one of them. But it depends on how gross you are. We're all a little gross. But, like, I'm talking, like, 
how often do you change your bed sheets? Because there is a significant portion of the population that admit that only washing their bed sheets once a year. And the number uh-huh. is so high <laughs> that, like I said, you're never going to want to stay over at someone else's house again. So let me just let me just ask you, how often do you do your bed sheets, Jax? Once or twice a week, usually once a week. Okay, I'm once yeah. a week as well, yeah, TJ. Once a week, and I have white bed sheets, not to brag, so I bleach them. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. same yeah, thing. Same Absolutely, yeah. producer Jesse. I'm definitely once a week. Once a week. Also, I. Like, these people that were polled, they can't be women. Well, hold on. I haven't even given the number yet. Okay. I have to give I'm the upset. number. I'm upset. I'm just upset they already. They can be I'm women. Up- That's sexist, Jack. I know, but like... <laughs> Women have something different There's going on. The, you know what? Right? Straight up, yeah. they do. And yeah. it is, you're absolutely Leaking right. Leaking is a real it thing. It is yeah. probably dudes. 30% admitted no! to ad- <laughs> to only washing their bed sheets once a year. How much? 30, oh. 30%. Oh, this makes me want to take a shower. Blankets and oh. cushion covers are only washed once a year by 36% of people. And 33% of people... Uh, pers- <laughs> respectively. Bed sheets and pillowcases should be washed as if they are dirty uh, and they can promote acne and spots on your skin and other things according to medical professionals. You should wash these at least once a week. Teach looks stressed. Because, guys, I'm a pretty fastidious person. Mm. I'm very clean, oh, very you, tidy. You can't be. You're a boy. No, yeah, no, sorry. No, According no, to Jackson, no, no. I'm not allowed to be. But I'm, just, I'm saying, just giving you a hard time. Oh I have to. Come God. on. But <laughs> when you hear things like this, like, it... It makes me want to go buy a hazmat suit and live yeah. in it for the rest of my days. Yes. Yeah. It's That's okay. so gnarly. Here, okay. So have you ever been over to somebody's house <laughs> and you knew the sheets weren't clean? Not because of what you saw, but because of what you smelled? You, are you, how many bed sheets are you smelling? Uh, I've been over to people's houses. Mm-hmm. I've stayed in their beds. Yeah. Obviously, it was, it was a hookup. And I knew. Yeah. I run, knew. Yeah, you run into some... Um, some things sometimes. Let me ask you guys a question. What's worse, a dirty bed or a dirty shower? Because like when you go to somebody's house, do you ever like pop the curtain open and look in? Oh, okay. all the time. No, I do yes. not pop the curtain. Oh, I pop look the in curtain. medicine cabinets. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. I, told, I told you that before. Stop it. No, not all the time, but mo- most of the time. <laughs> she does it all the time. Every no, but time. I, I judge. I always like, I've looked in both of your showers. Yeah. How are you're we do- doing? You're doing all right. You're doing, doing all right. right. I need great. To, mine's got yeah. glass, so I have to clean it all the time, which yeah. is really annoying. Yeah, but your your floor is good, which is okay. which is important. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Teaser, yeah, you're clean. Yeah. You're <laughs> that, that, mine's like staying in the hotel. You look like Clorex. Okay. All right, yeah. last question. <laughs> have, you, have you ever now have you ever ghosted somebody based on how not clean their bed or bathroom was? Ghosted, no, but it was the reason that I broke up with them, yes. Oh, wow. like you were in a relationship and did that? No, 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 no. But like, like sorry, I yeah. broke it off with yeah. them, oh, I should okay. say. So okay. what, what what how bad was it? It wasn't good. And I remember I was in tough because she said, um, I don't want you to see my bedroom. She lived with a roommate and it was oh, always no, 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 no. And I was no, like, no, that's no. weird. And then one time I saw it and I was like, ah. And she was like, how often do you yeah. wash your sheets? And she goes, oh, like once a year. I'm like oh, a third of the population. Yes. It's Dua Lipa. What to do is support the baby. Turn up my new song. And this is what's trending right now. Guess what story we're about to talk about. No. The Toronto Bride is going viral after walking down the aisle to the office theme song. What? Oh, God, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It's like an orchestral. Yeah, how did they get that? Probably a version of it. I bet it's on the internet, Adam. Alexandra Turbin and her now husband <laughs> had a social distance wedding on the top of the Globe and Mail Center last weekend and are now getting attention as she walked down the aisle to the office theme song and he stood there crying. What else is on the internet, Jax? I don't know, you big a, jerk? It's a big <laughs> worldwide web, yeah. one could say. Hey, you ever been surfing on the net? <laughs> Uh, she said that with the bigger plans canceled, they were only allowed to have 10 people there, so she wanted to do something super special for her now husband and surprise him with his favorite song. That's really cool. Really just stood there and bawled his eyes out. It's really, really sweet. <laughs> Cardi B is apparently back with Offset. Uh, you might remember about a month ago, she filed uh, divorce papers, but mm-hmm. they're back together, and she addresses it with a bunch of quotes that aren't fit for air. Uh, the too long, oh, didn't read version of it is she just started to miss him. Here's the part that I can actually say. I just started to miss him. It's hard to not talk to your best friend. It's really hard to not talk to your best friend. Yeah. And like Cardi B is a human and relationships are complicated. And like just because they're public doesn't mean it's, you know, any more of our business. This, so. She was saying that, you know, we're just as dysfunctional yeah. as a regular yeah. couple of yeah. We just 
in front of the entire world. Yeah, so hopefully they're happy and healthy. Yeah, exactly. Toronto has a new website that will show you open patios in your neighborhood. It's called To Go Toronto, and the website narrows it down to three options, takeout, delivery, or dine-in, which obviously you can't do in Toronto right now. Uh, the mm-hmm. site gives residents a chance to support local businesses amid the closures. I actually went to the website. It's laid out super nice, super easy, so cool. you definitely check that out and support local. It's a really, really difficult time for local restaurants. And that's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thank you, TJ. So just uh, three minutes and 44 seconds from right now, that's how long this song is. You're going to win $500 instantly with the Virgin Radio Money Maker. Money, your name, triple nine double nine, right now. Baby. Gotta confess your sins before the weekend so you can be free and clear and sin some more. From home, though. Mm. Don't go out. No. Don't do anything. It's Don't talk illegal. to anyone. Nope. Just Zoom sins. I'll Those are the only the ones that are allowed. I'll do it. You can text your secret to triple nine double nine like Zach did from Pickering. And we changed all the names. He said, I won nearly $7,000 last year on a scratch card. Oh, what? damn. Didn't tell my girlfriend. What? <laughs> Been spending it gradually over the last year on little treats for myself. You know what? Sometimes you hear about details of a relationship. You're like, yeah, they sound like they're in trouble. This one sounds like it's very healthy. I would be curious to know how long they've been dating. Yeah, yeah. I th- it yeah. sounds like he won yeah. it within the first couple months. Yeah, and, okay. that, and then let's say, let's say you a couple months into dating, you don't know if it's gonna no. last. And then a couple months later, it's like, oh, this might actually last. But then I already haven't told her. Yeah. So now if I tell her, like, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah if, you're, if you're engaged yeah. and you want seven grand, like you in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> the person who calls himself Maid of Honor in St. Catharines texted his secrets is triple nine double nine. It's a long name. I was the one who misspelled my best friend's name on her wedding invitations. Uh, not the printer, even though I let the printer person take the fall for it. Oh, that's, gulp. Who that's, among us hasn't lied? Okay, that what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, TJ, that is such a broad T- stroke. TJ, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what? No, 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 no. <laughs> totally absolved. Okay. Next confession. Okay. What, el- what else is up? Well, Adam? it's actually, uh, we have a confession from in the room today, and I don't know oh, if yeah. you're going to like this one. I think you might be upset, okay. TJ. <sighs> okay. So today uh, is the release date of one of my favorite video games, NHL 21. I'm not a huge gamer, Mm -hmm. but like maybe twice a year a game will come out. I'll get really excited about it and I'll want to dedicate, oh, say a weekend into playing it really in depth. My girlfriend, Val, who's wonderful and lives in Peterborough, wanted to hang out this weekend. And I told her no, because NHL came out and she said, okay. So I blew (laughs) off plans with my girlfriend so I could play a new video game. That's what I'm saying. 28 years old. I thought you were going to <laughs> <laughs> now, Like our grandparents yeah. have been to war. He's like, no, let me play this video game. Get out of here. I with thought your- you were going to say you lied to her. I could be like, don't lie to Val. She's no. still like No, he was it. straight I also up. won yeah. seven grand on a scratch ticket and didn't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something though? Yeah. Devil's advocate here. I know you and yeah. I know your schedule. And I know where you are most of the time, and that's at home. So you could also just play this at a different time. No, no, no. Here's no, the thing. Different. He's gotta he's gotta play. He's gotta get okay. some he's gotta collect his cards on hut. He's also gotta drink all the beer, which is what that's he's not it. telling you. He's I'm, he doesn't want Val around he's because gonna he's gonna be sloppy play the yeah. game. in yeah. his underwear playing on the couch. Clean underwear, clean couch. Well, well is this a three PM FaceTime I just, day? I hate when is. you do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is I just don't want her to see what I've become <laughs> this weekend. You know? Right. Fair. Save that for marriage. That's Fair. right. Yeah, you know, she doesn't need to know that right you now. You do you, babe. You do you. Oh, just gonna. don't FaceTime us, okay? No, all I right. will. Uh, the six month mark is where you kind of start to let it all hang true. out, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. are closing yeah. in on that. Yeah. <laughs> I un- unhooked my girdle. Uh, just got a text message of defending TJ, who has blown off his girlfriend this weekend to play any. NHL, which comes out today. Yeah, it does. NHL 21. Slap and uh, we got a <laughs> we got a text message from Owen Sound here. Hey guys, don't be too hard on TJ. It's called the grind, and it cannot be done on okay. a normal work okay. night. Easy. So I what, what's, finally feel understood. What's the grind thing? What like, are you grinding? No, you just gotta grind, man. You gotta put hours into the game to really Ew, build your team up. Stop right. Because yeah. you gotta unlock stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna be way more tired on Monday because I'm not gonna sleep for three days. Oh, good. Great. I can't <laughs> wait for Monday show. This. <laughs> 
Okay, so we wouldn't normally do this, but TJ had a confession earlier, and there's a text message in here in our inbox that is so so juicy and delightful <laughs> yeah. that we have to repeat this. So TJ, give us your, your Friday morning confession one more time. So I am not hanging out with my girlfriend this weekend because I wanted to play a new video game all weekend by myself. Which new video game? NHL 21. So right. I told her I was unavailable yeah. to hang out this weekend. Face off. Now, <laughs> we got a text message. Now, anybody that that knows TJ from before he was TJ just knew him as Tyler. Yeah. You know, he went to, when he went to school, he was Tyler. Tyler. But he's Tyler Joseph, right? That's Tyler Joseph. Yeah, that's me. So TJ. I don't know why I said that in the third person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coming from a 416 number. Hey, this is coming from one of Tyler's ex-girlfriends. <laughs> bracket. And only saying this from a friendship side. Close bracket. Oh. Personally, I think you should get a better girlfriend okay. who will play video games with him just saying LOL. What do you have to say about that, Tyler? Tyler? What do I say? Who Tyler? is this? This yeah, is uh, my high school ex-girlfriend. What was her name? Sarah. You guys Without an H. How did it start? Yeah. Us dating? Yeah, how did it start? We added each other on Facebook. Are you guys still Whoa. in touch? Uh, apparently. Okay, now, now <laughs> you, you added each other on Facebook, and what happened? Like, where did you, go, where did you take Sarah on her first date? Where did we go on the first date? That's a really good question. I actually think we went to Bramley Mall. Nice. On the first date. Cute. What'd you guys do at Bramley Mall? Yeah, we just like walked and chatted. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, that's really gentle. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. It's and not the, the worst. Typical high school romance lasted for like nine months and then we broke up. How'd it end? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it end? I broke up with her. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. Hey, are we more... like put TJ on the spot? This morning? Is that what we're doing? Or are we putting Tyler on the spot? <laughs> no, I just wanted to make it super awkward. Now, what's Sarah up to these days? Uh, I believe Sarah is not living in Brampton anymore, so good for her. And she also <laughs> is engaged with two kids. So okay. Shout out to her. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, I am we none should, of those things. We should hang with her sometime, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto's getting its own dating show that you can apply for. Cool. It's called Toronto's Love After Lockdown. It's a dating series that follows three single individuals on a journey to find love. Each blind dater is matched with people outside of their usual dating choices. And at the end of the series, the blind dater chooses one individual to continue a relationship with, which is kind of fun. And it's a YouTube series, um, which is something that actually has run um, all over the world. There's, it's, it's called Love After Lockdown. And uh, Thursday, November 12th is when the new episodes come out. So now you wouldn't be on the new episodes of season one, obviously. Of course. Yeah. But yeah. they're going to do city by city, which I think is kind of a smart idea. <gasps> you Are know, going to do Brampton. <laughs> if I, I don't do think Brampton, so, I will be so, so happy. <laughs> As a former, like I grew up in Brampton, I got to tell you, dating there, completely different world. Okay, yeah. so they're it, gonna do Vaughn. B- besides the Tim Hortons parking too. lot yeah. in Bramley City Center, yeah. where? Which, well, by the way, which Tim Hortons parking lot's the important one? I would go to the one at Kennedy and Sandalwood. Okay, all right, at Sandalwood Plaza. Where, where, where are some awesome. good dating hotspots where you take a blind date in Brampton? Uh, McKay Pizza. Oh. Tell, tell us about what's McKay Pizza yeah. about. What are you uh, McKay there? Pizza is a pizza place. Yeah. Uh, from <laughs> no McKay's. way. And it's just it's it's real good, man. It's delicious. But you go there for sure. Mm. Uh, you can also take her to an arena. I'm thinking Jim Arch Deacon in Heart Lake. That's where I did a lot of the public skatings. Other than oh, that, you can go to Silver City and Trinity Commons. And then that's it. Those are your options. <laughs> that's not true. Oh, yeah, producer oh, Jesse uh, 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 from Mississauga uh, uh, is saying no, Brandon. Brampton has the world's best Mandarin. True. Oh, oh, they yeah. have the largest Mandarin yeah. on planet Earth. Well, what are you getting married? It's yeah. amazing. TJ, yeah. like, take her to a ring. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's yeah. Why? Mandarin is who is is catering your wedding. I, I love think that's, Mandarin. You don't want to go too much too soon. Do you want to do the engagement photos in the garden, or do you want to do it in the fish room? <laughs> <laughs> I choose the garden. <laughs> you can apply for this show uh, <laughs> online right now. Just search Toronto Love After Lockdown if you want to. But uh, good luck to Brampton. Brand new Lamborghini, a cop. Virgin Mornings. With What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. Doug Ford is asking food delivery apps to lower their fees. He did this yesterday at a press conference in reference to a lot of restaurants who, once again, can't do dine-in. So they're relying a lot on food delivery uh, to make any money at this point. Uh, No app has yet lowered their fees, which can reach up to 30% on every single order. And Doug sounds mad. He warned them that their time is running out to do this voluntarily. And he asked the apps not be so greedy and be a part of the team, please, and thank you. 
Hey, a heads up, the Allen is shutting down this weekend for maintenance. Uh, so Allen Road is going to be closed from Shepherd Avenue West to Eglinton Avenue West. And that closure starts tonight at 11. And it's going on until Monday about 5 a.m. Also, it's important to note that active TO road closures are still happening True. this weekend. So just getting around is going to be a little bit trickier than normal. And after a week of debate over overcrowding on the TTC, there's now a website where you can track how busy a ride is. So Rocketman is the third-party app that many Torontonians use to track uh, the schedules of transit mm -hmm. in real time. And they just launched a website called transitcrowds.com. And this website uses historical data for transit lines uh, around the city to let riders know what time of the day is going to be the busiest for their mm. route and that type yeah. of stuff. So you go on the website and you type in, like, I'm looking for this route, and it will tell you what they think. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a pretty good yeah. idea. And that's what's trending. I'm TJ. Now, I want to quickly mention something before TJ mentions what we're getting into here. Okay. The thing is, 8 o'clock, we have a huge announcement Hell for you. Hell yeah. And we're so excited about this oh, announcement. Yes. I want you to look, open up your banking app if you got one on your phone, and look at the number. Uh, okay? Uh, so I want you to add a bunch of zeros to it. That's the new number. Or at least it should be. So we'll get to that at 8 o'clock. In the meantime, TJ, you want to take this one? How about an iHeartRadio world premiere? Brand new music from Justin Bieber and Benny Blanco. This is called Lonely. We'd love your thoughts. Triple nine, double nine. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Check this out. Is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jess. Five degrees right now, Woo! although it only feels like two. Going up to 12 today, 13 tomorrow, sunny both days, and then Sunday, a little bit of rain in the morning, 15 degrees. Not bad. Not bad at all. For the middle of October. We are halfway to Halloween. It's spooky season. Ah. <laughs> but your bank account doesn't need to be spooky. No. I want you to imagine if every Friday was payday. Now it is. Virgin Radio is announcing this morning, 10K Friday, what? starting Monday. Yes. You listen weekdays. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every two hours from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. for your chance to qualify. Yes. So we're going to be announcing a different keyword every every contest occasion, mm -hmm. right? So okay. every two hours, different keyword. When you hear that hour's keyword, you're going to have 10 minutes to text it in, along with your full name at 99999. We have you do this all the time. Yep. You've done this before. You can do it again. We could be calling you, and we're going to give you 100 bucks instantly. Mm -hmm. But that's just a that's a, a little taste. A little tickle. Yeah, exactly. No, little, don't. How's little, that feel, guys? Huh? <laughs> what a little tickle we are not going to tickle TJ? you. <laughs> I might. Never know. You and know, I, I do know you won't. Here if you win that $100 instantly when we call you back... We're going to tell oh. you that you're in the draw for the $10,000 grand prize yes. that Friday. And remember, this is multiple Fridays. Yeah. We're doing this more than once. Every Friday, Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. I've never heard of them. Could be calling to tell you that you've won $10,000. Can you imagine? That's Can bananas. you imagine? That's like winning the 50-50 at yeah. like a, a, a event. <laughs> Any type of event. Way to make it, it sound big. Uh, yeah, wait, I'll, I'll find this. <laughs> Be it a sporting event. You had a triple-A hockey game, and then you it. win the 50-50. Some like, sort it's of $10, eating competition. <laughs> 10000 It's ten grand. That's huge. Wait, I got one more. Be it my sister's provincial championship soccer game there when you she was go. 16. Ten thousand dollars every Friday. It's Virgin Radio's 10K Friday. Look at that Woo! bank account. Add four zeros. <laughs> That's your new bank account number. It's Virgin Radio. Dua Lipa. A Vox on 99.9 Virgin Radio. So we're the show that does Ghosted. We do that Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 o'clock. And after Ghosted yesterday with Gene, the pastry chef who was rejected for bringing pastries mm -hmm. to his date. Poor Gene. Sweet you can Gene. watch that at Virgin Radio. Sweet it's run on Instagram. Uh, we got this text message from Lauren. And sometimes when you text us at 999999, we call you back because the stories are great. So if you have a great stories and you can't call us or whatever it is, just shoot them, up, uh, shoot them off to us and we'll, we'll call you back. So Lauren's story is crazy because this is how she got back at a guy who was ghosting her. Yeah, so we dated it for a little while and then I went away and when I came back, he was like, okay, I want to see you, made a plan, made like, I, like times to pick me up, 3 p.m., we're good to go. Never heard from him again. Oh. Really? Never. Like not not even to cancel the date. Nothing. And I, I like I still have no idea. <laughs> so I was like, uh, "Hello, are you? Damn. Did you become a real ghost? Because that's the only reason that this is happening." That's He's sucks. Devin Sawa and Casper. <laughs> <laughs> Can I keep you? So, anyways, whatever. I got over it. Months, months go by. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the next part of the story is you definitely not getting over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I'm sitting at my my local bar, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, you know there's been some tequilas or whatever, mm-hmm. and I video FaceTimed him. <laughs> oh, there's oh. a good idea. There's a good yeah, idea. Good idea. Yeah. No one knows I'm doing this. I'm sitting there by myself. I video FaceTimed him. Why? I don't know. He answered. It's like 1.30 in the morning, and he's in his bed, <laughs> yeah. and he's very confused. Like, hey, what's happening what's going on yeah i did not respond instead i put the phone in the air and screamed at everyone to look at the loser ghoster (laughs) who who is ghosting me (laughs) he sat there and took it (laughs) i bet he did oh my god i actually like went up to people's faces and i was like take a look at him (laughs) imagine that story from that person's perspective like they're just having a nice night out and some stranger pushes a phone in front of their face and there's a shirtless man in his his bed and yeah, she's like, yeah. look at him. Just look at him. So, <laughs> so did you did you just hang up on him after? How did this all end? I, he he ended up hanging up. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um but I did get his face around a little bit and um I felt pretty good about myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever hear and from him again? I did actually the next morning. <laughs> and oh. he texted me saying how much I hurt his feelings. Oh, oh I can't funny, imagine. Funny. Yeah, you know that really hurt my feelings. Well, I sure hope you find like, someone who treats him well. I hope <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So. Well, this is a great story. Thank yeah, you for thank letting you. us call. You see when you call You're great. when you text Virgin Radio, sometimes we call back and Lord, that story is amazing. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. You're welcome. Also Never ghost Lauren. Ever. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Never true. Lesson. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to everyone. Now, Lauren's story was amazing. Love Lauren's story. But we want to hear your story. Have you ever gotten back at a ghost? Ooh. Because I never really thought about that. No. You know, like, uh, usually you just get ghosted and you just walk the other way. But sometimes, if you're vengeful and petty, it uh, could be a kind of fun. already feeling anxious about this. I know a couple people that have, like, called a, a radio show before mm. and what oh, they've yeah. done is they've called the person that goes to them on the air. Really? Yeah, and then they put them on blast. It's actually really interesting. That's a great idea. Yeah. Mm. You can actually watch all those on Instagram if you want. Where? Virgin Radio Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of those guys. <laughs> hey, uh, hit us up with your ghost ring, ghosting revenge. Triple nine, double nine. Let's get spooky. I'm my DJ and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. You got revenge on a ghoster. We didn't really think this was a possibility, but we had a call yesterday about it and we've got a call right now from Chantel who text messages to 99999. Called you back. Tell us the story. Okay, so I had a guy go see me back in August and I'm just new to the Tinder Bumble thing. Mm-hmm. So, ghosted me and he kept popping up on all of my friend's stuff on Snapchat. So, every time that would happen, I would make sure that I use my friend's social media to send a picture of myself to him. <laughs> Stop oh it. my gosh. So I did not want him to forget me. <laughs> yes. you, had, you had all your friends add him on Snapchat, Tinder, <laughs> Or what, where else? Oh, yeah. And then FaceTime. I FaceTimed his phone and Stop. pretended like I was my friend. And then I popped up on FaceTime. Oh. You are petty in the best way possible. Oh I, love I, love I love it. I love it. I love it. You are. Th- that's beyond him not forgetting you. You are going to haunt his dreams yeah. forever. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh, it's okay. He added me back. Oh, that's nice. Nice. And we've been dating for three years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have children. Uh, well, oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Uh, <laughs> CJ, text messages? From the 416, the guy that ghosted me had a bad relationship with his older brother. It just so happened that I matched with him, him being his older brother, on Hinge, and I knew who he was. Oh. I carried on the conversation with him, knowing out of spite if his young, if the original guy would have found out, he would flip. Not my best choice, but it was entertaining. That a, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a, do you ever think you're like a petty person and then you hear stories like this and you're like I don't yeah. hold a candle yeah. yeah I also respect sometimes the the chutzpah you know there's that takes yeah. guts 100% yeah, you know? I know what that word means it's it's just like you know oh like the, the gums. Like, yeah. like balls like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean yeah, like yeah. it's like the you know yeah. <laughs> it's really it's what it is uh, gumph balls same thing yeah <laughs> gumph <laughs> Well, Anyways. Gumption. Anyway, here's someone else with some gumph. See? Learning. <laughs> uh, from the 905, one time I got ghosted and I got revenge on her by completely letting myself go and falling into a deep depression. <laughs> ha! I showed been, her. Been there. <laughs> been, there. <laughs> been there. That's, been there. that's oh, yeah. so relatable. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that's so dark. That's a uh, that's one way to end it, huh? That's the, is that how you want to end it? That's it. Let's end there. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Right. 99.9. And this is what's trending right now. A Toronto bride is going viral right now for the song that she walked down the aisle to. 
The Office theme song. Oh. Her name is Alexandra Turbin, and her and her now husband had a social distance wedding on top of the Globe and Mail Center last weekend. Cute. And they're getting a ton of attention as she walked down the aisle to the song. What? Oh. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. An orchestral version of the theme song. Now, I want to say, I think it's so cool that people are doing digital weddings like this. My parents, uh, my, my mom and uh, Jim, yeah. uh, were on a Vimeo. And they had to. They watched our friends get married. Uh, oh, uh, shout up, shout up, Blair. Um, sh- she got married, and like, and so my, there's like a hundred people on the thing, and they're being very quiet. Yeah. So they're sitting because my they don't know how it all works, mm-hmm. right? And Vimeo yeah. is like so YouTube, funny. right? Yeah. But they're like, we think that they can hear us, so oh. we need you to be very quiet. I'm like, guys, it's Vimeo. They're like, shh, stop it. Shut up. You're gonna get the wedding at a digital wedding. <laughs> One of, what if one of them was objecting and they just never know? <laughs> yeah. True. He's like, why is no one paying attention to me? <laughs> I have objections. Uh, so back to Lauren, or Alexandra, pardon me. Uh, she said with the oh. bigger plans canceled and only being allowed to have 10 people at the wedding, she wanted to do something special and surprise her husband with his favorite song. That's so yeah. cool. So apparently, apparently when it cried, happened, he started yeah. crying. Yeah. It's super sweet. Yeah, but you got to cry anyway. It's the wedding. Come on. Yeah. You're going to cry. Yeah, I'm going to melt. Tears. And turn into a you get married? No, but like guys, if I ever did. Oh, it's getting pretty serious. Breaking news: Jax is girlfriend. getting married. Hey. 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 Shut up. No, I was saying if someone's When's the like, big day? Do we want to do this? Which one of us gets the, it the best man? It already happened. Do we want to do this? Can I be the maid of honor? I was just saying that if I got married later on in my life and the office was involved, I'd cry. I turn into a puddle. Yeah, but you know, there's one person being like, <laughs> "Yeah, but what about the British office?" <laughs> Uh, Cardi B is apparently back with Offset. You might remember about a month ago, she filed for divorce. And she addressed all this uh, in a bunch of quotes that we can't say on the air. But here's the too long didn't read version. She just flat out missed him. Hmm. She said, I just started to miss him. It's It's hard not to talk to your best friend. It's really hard not to talk to your best friend. It's honestly haven't been through it. Um, you know, there's an Im- intimacy beyond sex that you have with a person that you've been with that long yeah, yeah. that you it you don't just lose yeah. that, right? It doesn't go away. So, you know, just because you've sort of broken up, you're still kind of living together, you're still co-parenting, you're yeah, doing all those yeah. things. It's it's tough when that that kind of disappears over time. Or in their case, I get looks sounds like sounds like they're getting back together, which you know, yeah. wish them the best of luck with. They're it's not humans, easy. it's complicated. Oh, it's always. Very yeah. complicated. That's exactly what she said. She goes, Hey, we're just as dysfunctional. As everybody else, we're just in the in the public eye. Yeah. 100. percent So it's good for them. We wish them the best. Toronto has a new website that will show you open patios in your neighborhood. It's called To, to Go Toronto. Uh, the website narrows it down to three options: takeout, delivery, or dine-in. Obviously, dine-in's a little bit trickier to do in the city, what with it being illegal and all. Uh, the site gives residents <laughs> a chance to support local businesses amid the closures. Uh, I went to the website; it's laid out really nice, super easy to use. And again, it's a chance for you to support local places, which desperately need your help right now. Mm-hmm. So if you can. Maybe check that out. And that's what's trending. I'm TJ. One thing I want you to meditate on this weekend, if mm-hmm. you meditate, because I don't, but I know TJ does. Um, <laughs> I uh, one thing I want you to think about is this weekend, how do we support, not just, we need to support the restaurants if we can. If it can fits in your budget, that's great. Please do it. The other thing I think is fitness centers. Yes. Know? Because everybody's had to close their gyms again. Yeah. These gyms have spent hundreds yeah. of thousands of dollars yeah. to make it COVID yeah. safe. There's only been really one really bad out- outbreak, which was the one in Hamilton. Yeah. Things like this are going to happen. And my question is, how do we support those yes. local businesses as well? What's the plan there? And if there is no plan from the government, how can we do it? Because the thing is, there's no, you can't do like takeout gym, no. right? You can't. So you, what, do you, what do you do? You have seen a lot of like personal trainers doing workouts within fields and stuff and doing it in a very safe distance way, but it's like those big gyms, even gyms within condo buildings too that have closed. Like you, yeah. you wonder what people are going to do. Well, that's the thing. But at least gyms and condo buildings are supported by the condo board. Yeah, yeah like, that was these- a bad example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, it, as an accident in yeah. my mouth, I was like, you know Con- what? Condo gyms not are going to be okay, TJ. That's not, not what, what we're, we're talking, talking about. about at all. But hey, guys, yeah. guess what? At least one of us is thinking about the condos oh who desperately God. need our help right now. Now. And just remember that you can sign a petition online to support your local right, condo I'm building out of here. and I'm their gone. gym. I'm not I'm turning my back wonderful, off. wonderful weekend. Goodbye. I want you to know that you can win your 500 bucks instantly with Robin at 10 o'clock. <laughs> and next week, it's 10 thousand dollars 10k friday starts monday morning with us at eight o'clock and goes every two hours and support your local condo gym thank you tj You're appreciate welcome. that <sighs> we hope you have a fantastic I, I weekend can't. like no. I, I just okay. you don't have to I'm it's done. over we're oh, done now so thank god, god. love you <laughs>